Today, I'm coaching a newish player, and we're working in the pit to see if we can spot some mistakes that's keeping him from reaching his full potential. We're talking about things like overextending versus playing close to your cover, not being engaged in fights that's happening around you, and we're going to be giving some professional tips that all us pros use to shoot more and get better aim in very intensive situations. In this video, we're only covering skills used in close quarter fights like 1v1s. But there's a second part to this session, where we played real matches and went over lots of in-game scenarios. You can catch the entire session like this alongside the hundreds of other sessions I've done when I go live here on YouTube. If you want to make sure that you catch these coaching streams, or even just my normal Predator Ranked, or even my challenge streams like dropping 4Ks with no aim assist, then make sure to like and subscribe so that YouTube knows you want to see more of these types of videos and streams. Alright, let's go hop into this session. Alright, how we doing today, Roland? I'm good. Awesome, man. Love to hear it, dude. Alright, well, let's yeah. get going, dude. So are you just going to do 1v1? Like... <laughs> You just want a 1v1 today? Is that all you wanted to do? What did you want to focus on today? Like, did you just want to play, get, like, games? Did you want to try to work on some skills? I, I basically want, I want to get better. Okay, sweet. So, let's start off, Roland, with um, some 1v1 type stuff. And first, we're going to talk about just some really basic movement stuff that hopefully you already know. But if not, then that's perfect. We'll be able to work on that. What guns are you yeah. using right now, boss? Um, I'm using the R99 with the Mastiff. All right, cool beans. Gotcha. Okay, so you can put everything other than a mag, okay? Alright. Alright. Because I know you're I really like scopes. No, that's totally fine. You can put on whatever you want. Just don't want a mag because I know you're going to one clip me. Let's go this So way. just before we hop into the pit, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of talk about what instant sliding is, okay? And we're going to help you make sure that you can always be moving super, super fast. So have I, have you ever heard me talk about that before? Instant sliding? Uh, yeah. I was just watching a movement um, oh. video, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Okay. So I'll kind of just do a quick little recap so that we can hop into the pit right away. Right, all an instant slide is, is when we holster our gun and we take one step and slide. Because when your gun is in your hand, you run a little bit slower compared to when you holster your gun, you put it away, and your fists are out, you get a movement speed boost. Let's just say I'm right here and I want to slide at you. My gun's in my hand. I have to go yep. one, two, three steps. If I don't take those one, two, three steps, and I go like this, one, two, I'm not, I'm not even going to slide. I'm going to get what's called like a dead slide. One, two. Dead mm -hmm. slide. One, two, three, slide. But if we holster our gun, we put our gun away and we have our fists out, we don't have to take those extra steps. All we have to do is go one step and we can slide jump, which is really, really useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little bit harder. Instead of going one step and then take out the gun, we're actually going to start off by taking out our gun first. What's your swap weapon? Is it still triangle? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do, Roland, is we're going to go triangle, forward, circle, X. And what that's going to do is it's going to start taking out our gun before we start that slide. So we're going to go triangle forward circle X. Triangle forward yep. circle X. Like that. There you go. Just like that. That was, that was yeah, Roland, that was perfect. You see how your gun is in your hand when you're in the air now? So instead of slide jumping and then taking out your gun at the very end, we're actually starting off by taking out our gun first. Yeah. All right, sweet. So this is what I want you to practice when we go and we hop into some games later today, okay? All right. All right, I'm going to toggle the friendly fire. The first couple rounds, I might be really aggressive. I might be really passive. I might push you. I might stand still in the open. Just want to see how you play. And then when we start seeing some patterns and how you're playing, then we'll start talking about what's going on, okay? All right. Three, yeah. two, one, go. Might be something good this way. All right, it's all good. So I'm just going to write down some mental notes, kind of think about some things that I want you to work on. And then after a couple rounds, I'm going to tell you what I'm noticing, okay? All right. All right. All right, Roland. So this is what we got to work on right now. We got a couple things that are going on that's kind of keeping you from actually reaching your full potential. So the number one thing that I'm seeing is that you are trying to one clip every single time you come off of your cover. So by that, what I mean, if you want to kind of just stand right there, is every time you're in cover and you come off, you always shoot the whole clip every single time. Now this might not seem like a big issue, but it actually is. Every single time that you come off and you shoot your whole magazine, it means that you're giving me the chance to shoot my whole magazine. So if you don't hit your one clip, I might hit my 
one click and yeah. kill you. But I want you to play a little bit closer to your cover, right? So I don't want you to play out here in the open. I want you to play right here on that corner. And then when you come in and out of your cover, you're going to be able to go half of your mag, half of your mag, or you'll go like a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, a quarter. Yeah, but instead of crouching like this, you see how slow I'm moving? So instead of doing that, I want you to practice doing it while standing. Because you're just going to move a little bit faster. There you go, like that, right? So now you're going to stay harder to hit. Every time you come back okay. into cover, you're going to take away my chance to one-clip you. But if you stay out here that whole time when you're shooting, I can one-clip you. So I need you to do your best to come back into cover. Shoot, cover, shoot, cover, reload, okay? All right, so I'm stuck here in the open. I want you to make sure that you keep peeking, peeking, peeking. All right, quick peeks, quick peeks. There you go, like that. Quick peeks. Yep, quick peeks. Nice, there you go. This time I'm Much down. better. Yay. Yeah, if I'm stuck in the open, right? You notice how I have no cover to play. And you do have cover? I need you to be like that. I need you to make sure that you're quickly coming out of cover. Putting in some shots. I don't want you to play slow, because then you're going to let me play for free in the open. I'm going to have time to shoot back at you. In a situation when we're losing a gunfight, maybe you break my shield, and now I'm on flesh. Instead of yeah. me staying here, where you can come and easily push me and kill me, oh no, now I'm dead. Instead, what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to make sure that I back away from you and create space. Now, if you want to come and push me, now you have to run through all of that open space, which means that I can damage, yeah. damage, and back away from you again. You try to push me, right? You're taking damage on the way up. I'm gonna back up. As you push up, I'm doing damage and I'm moving away from you. And I'm forcing you to come into the open, which means that you don't have cover and I do, even though I have less health than you. So when you're losing a fight, I need you to make sure that you're backing up from me and then make sure that you're looking for me to step in the open, okay? I want you to think about this. Would you rather die because you're stuck in front of me? Or would you rather take half of your health away because you tried to get away from me? Half your health. Exactly. So it's better to take damage and leave a fight than it is to die staying in a fight. The more chances you yeah. take, to try and back away, the more opportunities you're going to have to try again later in the future. Let's just say you're right here. Let's go this way. And I'm right here. You're winning. You broke my shield. If I stay here, you're just going to come around the corner and shoot me like I did to you right there. Versus okay. if you holster your gun, now you're trying to back away. My and now you're able to back up and create space and you've given yourself the chance to play again. This is, I, I know this might seem like a far distance, but with one slide, Let's explore this I way. can slide and get into cover shields. really, really quick, get off a cell, and now I can shoot at you. So I want you to practice trying to get away. Otherwise, you're just just gonna get killed over and over and over again. Getting shot at. I'm pushing through the open. You're looking at what's happening. See, so I'm I'm sliding at you, and I can see you, and you're not shooting me. Right. So there's actually a lot of time I'm starting to notice now where you're coming off of your cover. You see me, I see you, but you're not shooting. So you know what that tells me, Roland? It tells me that you're what? not shooting your gun and then bringing yourself to your target. What you're actually doing is you're trying to line up your shot and then shoot. What I want you to start thinking about is, oh, I see an enemy right here. I'm going to shoot and then bring it to the target. So I want you to practice. Yeah. If you see someone, you're coming off cover. Like I know you're here, Contact. right? Because maybe I hear you or that's the last place I saw you. So now what I'm coming off cover i'm shooting and then i'm bringing it to you so that's actually why you're sticking out a lot but you're not getting any damage it's because you're not shooting before you're aiming i want you to i know he's over in that direction i'm shooting and then i find that target okay hey guys if you learned something from today's video make sure to like and subscribe and also consider booking a coaching session with me the link will be in the description down below you can also save 20 percent when you book a coaching session with a friend so consider that